Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome to a brand new BBC Micro Let's Play. This time around, it is... Zombies! Originally for the Commodore PET, and later ported over to the BBC Micro itself. The type-in code was provided on the June 1983 issue of Personal Computer World. This game, and a bunch of other games, would be compiled on the compilation known as Best of PCW Software by Century Communications Limited. And this one screen is all the instructions you need. You're in a graveyard. The church clock has just struck midnight. You must evade the zombies for as long as possible by luring them into open graves. But if you are caught, you are zombified. Keyboard controls. Left is Z, right is X, up is asterisk, and down is question mark. If you're playing on an American keyboard like I am, it's the quotation mark slash apostrophe key. And if you're playing this on Beep M, more than likely you're going to have to user map the keys yourself because apparently up doesn't want to work on the default mapping. But enough about that, let me get a drink of water here. And let me press space to play zombies. And you can start with anywhere between 10 to 15 zombies. And the longer you go, the more zombies will show up. Don't expect your games to go very long. So just type in the number you want and then press enter. And then it's time to play. And somehow not survive at all because a zombie managed to be right near me. Let's try this again. You're the green guy. And all of the white colored humanoids are the zombies. Thankfully, you can hold direction keys down. So that way you can go in, an, in any direction continuously, which is great, and I managed to last for about three or four screens and play this for about 27 seconds. Like I said, games are not going to be this long, and the more zombies that are on the screen, the longer it takes each one to move. Once you have like one left, like the one that's there is going to move super fast. You always start in the center of the screen, and you just want to pay attention to where you're at. You want to be ready as soon as the zombies start moving, so that way, dang it, well at least I lasted even longer that time. That way you can always see where the zombies are, and try to be at least one step ahead of everyone. And of course, as I mentioned earlier, the longer this goes, the more zombies that show up at each subsequent screen. You also want to make sure that any zombies are not near you, because again, if you have zombies near you at the start, they can get you as soon as the round begins. And that's no fun for anyone. And I had a lot of zombies going to graves. That was amazing. Now the zombies will always take the shortest path towards you, and that is something that you definitely want to keep in mind. It's easier to get the zombies to go where you want them to, amazingly when there's less of them. Because... It can be a little hard. Ooh, one minute and four seconds. It can be a little hard to kind of go with them into where you want to go. Well, I'm asked to do a whole minute, and that took faster than I thought it would. So, I'm going to be cheeky and do 50 and see what happens. I may survive, I may not. I want to make sure that no zombies can get to me in a straight line. 
and that is one screen clear. Wonderful. And of course, once you know what you're doing, you can easily get the zombies to get them to get you can easily get the zombies to go where you want them to. And I thought I was not going to survive there, but thankfully I did. And I've managed the last three screens with 50 zombies now, so let's see how the rest of this goes. I'm going to have to reposition myself very constantly every so often. I wouldn't exactly say constantly, but at least every so often. Just so I can coax more zombies into the open graves. And almost lasted as long as my longest run there. That's amazing. And once you've played one round of zombies that goes for a good short while, you've pretty much played them all. At least this game is better than Robo Swamp. I will definitely give it that. And despite the short amount of time that I played this game, I can easily tell you that I really, really like this one. You can hold the button down to go in one direction continuously, which really helps when it comes to getting enemies, or the zombies rather, to go into the open graves. You're not fighting against the game itself to make sure that you actually move in the direction you want when you want. The control is a lot more responsive. And for that, I recommend this game. And if we press N, we get the basic prompt. That's it. Oh well. But anyway, I might as well go ahead and give my short mini review. Which is definitely going to be favorable. Because this is definitely a step up from Robo Swamp, which I played some time ago. And I wasn't continually fighting against the game. Graphics, you have very sim simple primitive graphics, but they definitely get the job done. You're identifiable, the zombies are identifiable, the graves are identifiable. That's it. And thankfully, the walls and the graves don't kill you if you run into them either. That's a good thing, too. I should probably mention that. Sound and music, you just get the usual beeps, the usual low-toned beeps for when zombies move and from when you die. That's about it. It's not much, but it's there. Play control. Once again, I can't believe I, well, I can believe I'm mentioning this actually, but this game definitely is playable. The controls are very responsive. You get to move in the direction you want to go when you want to go in that direction. You're not constantly fighting against the game like you did in Robo Swamp, which I played some time ago. And you can run in one direction continuously just by holding a button down, which I like. Something you couldn't do in Robo Swamp. And for the replay value, your mileage may vary. You may play for five minutes. You may play for however much longer than that. But it's a very simple arcade game. And at least a very simple arcade style game that is very easy to pick up and play. Just don't expect your game to be long just because of the nature of the enemies and how they move. Because they always take the shortest path towards you. 
And as fast as they can get, the longer you survive, and the more prevalent they are, the longer you survive, the harder it is to move around to move away from an enemy or a zombie rather once you are nearly done with the screen you have one zombie left it's going to come after you like no tomorrow and that's pretty much everything that I can say about this game do I recommend it? absolutely go out and play this it's worth at least five minutes of your time. Definitely a fun arcade style game. It looks alright. It plays well. You'll have some fun with it. And that was Let's Play Zombies for the BBC Micro. Hopefully you enjoyed this as much as I did. Maybe just a little bit more. And hopefully I will be back with another game. Maybe it'll be good. Maybe it'll be bad. Maybe it'll be somewhere in between. Who knows? Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care. Stay safe. Thanks for watching, and see you guys later. Special thanks to High Retro Game Lord 89, without whom this Let's Play would not have been possible.